<laughs> Hi, welcome to Applebee's. Would you like the apples or the bees? They want the bees. There's the bees. I'll just hold hands with it this entire time. We're friends. All right, I think that's everyone. Hello, hi, welcome to CMV. How, see, how to CMV. Uh, do you guys know what a CMV is? What it stands for, aside from that rando sign when you're driving here and makes me laugh. No CMV vehicle inspection. Oh, that, that yes. the one? And I'm just like, <laughs> CMV. Um, what it means. <laughs> Um, it stands for cosplay music video for like, you know, maybe the one person that's pretending they know what it means or doesn't want to raise their hand. Um, so more or less, it's just like you're in a costume, you're in cosplay, and you're making a music video. Uh, how professionally or non-professionally you do that is totally up for your discretion. Um, today we're going to take you on a vaguely horrifying journey of uh, my experiences with CMVs. Um, my name's Nikki, I am a YouTuber, I also go by Mishkali, um, and I've been doing this since I was bored and alone in my room as a high schooler. Um, <laughs> and now it is my, what I do for a living. So um, that's just like a bit about me. I have um, a background in filmmaking and acting, writing and modeling, um, and like I said, I cosplay, and this is what I do. <laughs> so. I'll just go on and let you guys also introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rachel. I also go by Spotty. Um, we do lots of things together. We do many cosplays together. Uh, I've got, I work in commercials and films. So I work production side of things. And um, sort of went to school for it. I did Detroit school for film once. So I know how a camera works. <laughs> it's got buttons. <laughs> I'm Kenny. I also go by Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I've been doing cosplay, film, and photo stuff since uh, I could hold a camera, basically, and found out what cosplay was probably through CMVs online in high school. Oh, yes. As I feel like a lot of people found out about cosplay. Uh, I went to a lot of school for film and photo stuff, um, and this is what I'm now doing kind of full-time, taking pictures and making videos and stuff with these two. How long have you been cosplaying, Kenny? I've been cosplaying since, or oh, maybe like 2007, 2008. I think that's, that's a ten years. Yeah, it's a, that's a long time. That's about the same for me. Probably like 2010. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. time. Oh yeah. Yeah. When did you start cosplaying? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. When was your first convention? Uh, it's like 2012. You were there. For I was. No, it was like 2013. 14? 2014. 15? Yeah. yeah, something like that. Oh. Yeah, 2015, I bet. Um, 2007. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm in the, like, back in the... <laughs> yeah, I started cosplaying at conventions. Yes. Same. Mm -hmm. Nikki started cosplaying in her room. Oh, by myself. <laughs> oh, by Making CMVs and sketches, um, which is, I guess, we'll segue back into, like, the whole CMV making process. So I want to, like, start with you guys and, you know, use stuff that like I've made by myself with Rachel and with Kenny it's mostly like what we do is like us three together now um but I wanted to start from like the very bare beginnings because I don't know where any of you guys are in like you know your filmmaking processes or your creative processes or if you're just like wanting to explore and play around with like different cameras or equipment or different things of that nature or you just want to make a CMV or you just want to make a CMV cool. and you're like awesome we'll just sit in on this and see what's um to happen uh off the bat I'd like to note that it doesn't really we will like go over like equipment just some like facts about you know filming and the circumstances of filming play the CMV and then discuss it a bit and then move on to the next one and after we're done going through all of the CMVs we're going to open it up to questions um where you guys can ask anything to your heart's content. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just start there. Do we want to give like a little blip about um, equipment and stuff like that? Because yes. uh, that's like one of the top questions I get asked about like my filmmaking processes or my sketch making processes is what equipment do you use? Really, it's whatever you have on hand. Um, for each of these CMVs, I use something different. Everybody has a camera these days. <laughs> An iPhone shooting 4K now. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag shot in my phone. Yeah. <laughs> you do not need to shoot in 4K though. Oh, no. no. That to yourself. That's a lot. Um, what 
did you start editing on? Uh, Windows Movie Maker. Oh, yeah. Which brings us into our first CMV. So this is my first CMV. What was the shot on? It was shot on a Canon T3i. Mm -hmm. it, that's Which is like a consumer grade consumer. Canon camera. Yes. It has some manual and auto features. I got it for Christmas. I cried when I got it. Yes. Um, I still have it. Uh -huh. it's, it's a little baby. Um, like I, it's this kind of like a general rule for like filmmaking or anything like that. It's what you do with your equipment mm -hmm. is where like your talent shines and shows through. Um, because you could have the nicest, most top grade camera in the world, and if you don't know how to use it, and if you don't have like a semi good vision for it, it's just really gonna fall flat. So my vision for this CMV was, it was raining one weekend, I had no friends, I had a CL cosplay, and uh, I was doing more like YouTube stuff. How I got into cosplay was through YouTube and watching CMVs and sketches, and I was like, that sounds fun, that seems cool. I have these random things I've gotten from antique shops and Hobby Lobby. <laughs> which is like all of my interests. <laughs> um, it's pretty cringy, it's pretty bad. Um, it was shot, like I said, by myself, no one there. I was horrified of my mom walking in on my room <laughs> at any point in time. Um, Did she know you cosplay at this point? I think she had an idea, because um, she saw like a photo of my CL cosplay like on Facebook that my friend took, and I was horrified. I was like, oh my god, no, how dare you post that publicly? And my mom found it pretty fast and was like, are you trying to be a boy? <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm just dressed like one. And it's really hard to explain when you don't know what's going on. Um, and they knew I made videos because my brother and I made videos whenever like I needed someone to help press the record button. But yeah, it was also edited on Windows Movie Maker. And if I do say so myself, it's pretty impressive for Windows Movie, Windows Maker. Movie Maker, which is about us. Complex as a. You got one job. audio track, you got one <laughs> video track, maybe some text or a cool intro, and that's it. Yep. And how long did it take you to shoot and edit? Uh, it maybe took me two or three hours. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 All right, here yes. we go. Kenny and I have never seen this one, so we're we're ready. I know, like, I'm just gonna like, look. Like, it's it's bad. It's so bad. Just play. Out at the end, wow. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. No, it was Look at not. that. Listen, you went for it. You tried <laughs> stuff. You did different things. You know, you did yeah. some effects in there. It doesn't matter. That was your first yeah. one. And you that's the great flux now. <laughs> you should have for my second hit, first hit. You, you were in high school film class, yeah? At this time, mm -hmm. no? Yes. Yeah. It's just reflux. Yes. <laughs> okay. That was pretty good though. And this, I like your one location. Um, did you just set up the tripod and put I the did, camera yes. on and then you laid down? Uh huh, yeah. Did your camera screen flip out at all? Did no. Did you see what you were no, doing? No. Not okay. At all. That's good. No. I love that. You got yourself framed pretty well for not being able to see yourself in frame ever. Yeah. I think yeah. that was pretty good. Sometimes I had, I had a mirror on the wall, so sometimes I would like put the camera to where I could see the uh, screen on the back. <laughs> to where I could like see it through the mirror and be like, all right, here we go. For the most part, it was just kind of like, I hope I'm in frame. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'd go back and rewatch it and be like, I was in frame. Um, yeah, so that's what I did alone in my room. No, we are not doing that. Well, we're doing that next, so I guess you can stay there. Um, alone in my bedroom. Most of the CMDs I had seen, you know, most people were not afraid of asking their parents if they could go outside and could go outside. Um, but I feel like this is a good example of being like, you know, you can literally just start experimenting with like CMVs and ideas and concepts if it's literally just you alone in your bedroom. And like a could, TikTok. Like a TikTok. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'd say that's a CMV. Um, alone in your bedroom. Alone like a TikTok. That's yes. what I mean. Yes. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much like what I did. I shot it in like a day and edited it that same day and put it up on YouTube and thought I was super cool. Um, <laughs> Did you choose your song before or after you shot it? Um, I don't remember. Okay. I feel like uh, a lot of the times when I come up with ideas for CMVs, I've heard the song and are like, I've got this idea, and just try to ex execute it best I can. So I probably had heard the song before and was like, you know what would be a great idea this Saturday afternoon? <laughs> this. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say there's no lights or anything. It was just nope. whatever came through the window. Nope. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Did you have a tripod? Yes. 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 Okay. Was it the same tripod that we have to gas take the leg on because it always falls down? Probably. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's some top notch equipment right there. <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, so that's like the first CMV I ever did, edited by myself. Um, very like self-taught, self-learned. Very rough. So good though. Mm -hmm. So oh, yes. bad. Um, and so then we uh, flash forward to, I made like a few other CMVs between like that one and then this point. Um, again, I think a lot of them were alone in my bedroom or alone in my apartment. That was one, one Attack on Titan one. I filmed it alone oh. in my apartment and uh, well, part of it alone in my apartment. Um, the other part we filmed at a con and then uh, my roommates came in mid filming and were like, what's this? And I was like, <laughs> hi. I cosplay. You know that weird stuff I brought in on movie day? This is it. <laughs> um, um, this is the intern, right? This is the intern. Okay. Um, I read the fan fiction. This is an Attack on Titan fan fiction that, that we wanted to make into a CMV. Yes. And <laughs> Nikki wanted to make it into a CMV. Nikki and I had just met at this point. Yes, and I had wanted to make it into a CMV. I talked about it with uh, one of my friends at the time, and I was like, hey, this would be like a fun idea. The intern was like really popular in the Attack on Titan fandom at this point. So everyone was like, either do it the intern or like 1994 or something like that. Like, I'm a garbage human and live on the internet. Internet, so I know a little bit too much information. Um, if you know anything about the intern, it's a bit raunchy. It's yes. not that raunchy in the CMV, I um, promise. Yeah, so the fanfiction itself is very adult. And, and it centers around very, Aaron and Levi. And yeah, series centers around Aaron and Levi, but there's also a backstory between Erwin and Levi that I found more interesting and just wasn't touched on as much. Um, so I was like, well, let's do a CMV focusing on that. And then we also touch a little bit on um, Aaron and Levi. Um, but like I like we mentioned before, this the uh, uh, fan fiction is very adult, and there are certain themes and things presented in there. I do not want to reenact. Not online. really safe for YouTube either. <laughs> no, it's not really YouTube safe. Um, that's not something I'm willing to do. And uh, back then, Patreon exclusive wasn't a thing. <laughs> 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 so, you know, I was very, because most people had read the fan fiction, I was like, we're doing an intern CMV, and they're like, oh, are you now? <laughs> I was like, it's a PG rated 13, PG 13. Um, so yeah, I asked my friend um, Daichi to play Erwin with me. Um, I asked my friend um, Malachi to be Aaron, and um, Daichi was afraid, well not like afraid, but was not comfortable acting in front of a camera. They're like, yeah, I will take pictures with you as Erwin and Levi all day, but acting? Nah, son. And I was like, all you have to do is fake make, that, make out with me. Like, we're all just like weird <laughs> nerds on the internet. That's like half of what CMVs are these days. Um, and so they were like, nah, nah, not having it unless you absolutely need me to. And uh, Rachel and I had met at a Con and had talked a lot, mm -hmm. but I did not really know how well nope. I knew her. And, and you were talking about your CMV idea, and I was like, oh, I cosplay Erwin. And I was like, cool. Sure. Mm -hmm. Cool. The intern, I've read that. Yeah, sounds cool. yeah. <laughs> like it's something we're not going to actually do, just like the, the fan fiction. I feel like that'd be a bad idea. Yeah. Um, but it centers more on er er Erwin and Levi's backstory. Yeah. Um, and then I also contacted the uh, author of the fan fiction and was like, hi. <laughs> And I make a video about it, and they're like, yeah, can I see it? And I was like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so, like, I just felt like it was just kind of the courteous thing to do to ask beforehand. Um, and they were super sweet, and we're like, yes, please do it. Sounds good. So uh, we got together at Acon, and... Uh, this was all shot at two conventions, yes. Acon and San Japan, five years ago. <laughs> five years ago. So there was a big ass gap between one and the other that we, we shot. Had filming difficulties. Yes. Our Aaron cosplayer, there was a miscommunication and they weren't able to film at Acon. And so we were like, okay, we used our friend actual Aaron for some of the shots. <laughs> but we're like, oh, it wasn't, you know, just like nitty gritty stuff. We didn't like, get enough of anything. We didn't get enough of anything. We had not enough of you and me. Mm -hmm. The song was way longer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Like yes. everything that could go wrong, like no yes. B-roll, the song's too yeah, long. Yeah, no B-roll. The B-roll we have Cross is talent. GIFs off of the internet in New York <laughs> City. I'm not even kidding. They're just like GIFs played for like five seconds, so you can't tell it's a GIF. But it's like a little grainy compared to the rest of it. It's good. Um, 
Yeah. See, I haven't seen this either, yeah. so I'm yes. very excited. Um, this one was shot on a um, Canon, whatever camera, probably like a 60D or something. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit higher up than the T3i, and, and by this point, I was off the movie maker. Yes. <laughs> this um, was edited on Premiere. Yes, edited on Premiere, and um, yeah. How long did it, it take you to edit? Um, probably like a solid evening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, whenever I edit, I just kind of like sit from Buckle the down for 12 like, hours. We're not moving That's for like six fast. hours. Uh -huh. How long did it take you to find all those gifts in New York, though? <laughs> Not that long, it's a really quick Google search. <laughs> okay, so it's just like whatever the first ones were. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. uh -huh. All right. Um, so yeah, this Let's, is... Oh, there was no lighting equipment used in this other than lamps. We like unscrewed some lampshades in the oh, hotel yeah. room and like <laughs> tried not to break the lamps. Um, some lamps were broken. In this yes, place. and then we just, we used a hotel room that all of Nikki's roommates were in for this con. Oh, yeah. and, and so they were all just like sitting on this bed and we're like fake me. You'll see. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> Lemon, don't like, don't read. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, Did we just go blue screen? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, also, I would like to note um, this CMV had to be like taken down and re-uploaded due to copyright issues. That's another fun thing about YouTube. Um, and then um, the the CMV got more views than the actual song. Than the actual <laughs> song for the band. For the band, yeah. Nice. Who this might have met, kind of met this band? Yeah. This day I'm still kind of like, I know it's old, gay, and stupid, but do you just want this music? <laughs> oh Alright, here we go. Here we go, this is super gay. Super gay. filmed half in the La Quinta here at San Japan, and the other half was filmed at um, the, what was it, Acon, a, Acon at, uh, uh, the Hilton. Hilton. Uh, Hilton, at the Hilton, yeah, back when I was at the Hilton. Was um, so it's just hotel rooms, we broke into a conference room, by that I mean it was just open and we walked in and nobody and was in there. By that I mean we had permission and permits. No, no we didn't. Um, <laughs> and B-roll of, uh, by B-roll, I mean gifts of New York City. Well, we also had some like out of in focus shots um, <coughs> of a cup. Window, yeah, and of a cup filled with Capri Sun that we're going to pretend to some unidentified alcoholic beverage because we're adults. <laughs> uh huh. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That that was that CMV. Uh, there was a lot of people just like around for that whole thing. Mm -hmm. There was just people watching us, friends and, and random people, and we were just running around a hotel for one day at this convention, and then like the half of a day at San Japan. Yeah. Yeah. And That's this, all And this one's kind of like an example of like, you know, if you're like, oh, I don't know if I can, you know, be able to go to a cool location or area or something that's outside of like my house or my neighborhood or my hometown if you travel to cons a lot of cons are in some pretty cool places and so this was like a business and you and i'm just like i wonder if my dad who works at corporate bank of america would let his stupid daughter run around no, <laughs> no. <laughs> um so we're just like hotels look businessy enough yeah um so that's what like we use so it's not like we had to it's not like um if interestingly enough running around in costume draws people's attention <laughs> so if you do that at a hotel when a con isn't happening, people ask questions and stare at you and ask you to leave. Mm -hmm. When a con is going on, they know you're with the con, and that's not like a free-for-all ticket to do whatever you wish. However, um, you know, you're more able to use like more public spaces, you're already renting the hotel room anyways, you can make more use out of the space without people asking, what are you doing, why are you here? Do you know that your hair is purple? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, this original CM, CMV idea came from a, um, I don't know what you would call it. It's not an AMV because it was um, from Marvel. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> 
So there's this, there's a, what would you call it? It's just oh, a music like video. A it's, a, video. It's a movie music video, I guess. Um, so it was a, a frost iron, uh, like fan made video, CMV thing to um, the same song on YouTube. And that's where the idea came from. I like the editing in it. It was nice. And that's also where I got introduced to the song and I was like, we're just putting a bunch of odd ideas that don't seem like they make sense together and here we are. Um, so as you can tell, there's been an improvement in camera quality, editing quality. We have not dressed a lonely weave in their bedrooms. <laughs> we had a person behind the camera. It was amazing. That yeah, definitely helps when you don't have to, you know, press yes. record and make sure you're in focus, stand in front yes. of the camera, do your thing, and then hope. And hope. And hope. Yes. So it was a lot of messing around, it really was. There's some shots in there where I was just like memeing at a table and I didn't know they were recording and then they ended up in the video and I was like, oh, well, I was not, I was not aware of this, okay. Yeah, sometimes like, you know, just rolling and you'll take like literally, especially for CMVs, since like A, usually you're not taking the sound and then B, the editing typically is pretty fast depending on what you're doing. You can literally just take like two seconds from a clip and two seconds from another clip and it's just like, you know, you may have been yelling about dishwashers for most of that clip but no one's going to hear that and you are just using it to simulate fighting. So that was like a big challenge for this one is like our Aaron didn't know how to get like angry and stuff like that. So it's just like, all right, talk to me about things that annoy you. And they're like, I really hate Archer. That's an awful TV show, that is garbage. I was like, let's talk about Archer. They're like, no, I don't like Archer. I was like, good, because we're supposed to be arguing right now. So we're gonna talk about something you hate. And then, um, we just built off of that and I would just like cut them off and like walk away and like get their like reactions. Um, it was very like acting exercise that I was just like BSing my way through. And I was like, all right. <laughs> it's like, we took, I'm not, I'm taking this a little bit too seriously, but like, you know, we were able to get like the reactions that we wanted, especially cause like not all cosplayers have acting experience or modeling experience or are comfortable in front of the camera or can just, you know, snap into arguing. Um, and sometimes just arguing about anything is fine. Like you can literally just be like yelling and yelling about at each other. And it'll look like you're actually, you know, having a call, like, you know, an argument and <laughs> fight. Um, but yeah, so now that between this CMV that we just watched and then the CMV we're going to watch next, a lot of CMVs happened. Oh yes. And I wish I could show them to you. But we don't have enough time for that. We do not have enough time. I really time wanted for to that. show green light. Green light. But, um, anyway, talk I'm about this. Thinking one. about showing. I know. It gets on YouTube. Oh god. Um, <laughs> so between this CMV, the, the intern, and then the one we're about to show you guys is when uh, Rachel and I have a more established like friendship relationship and do more content yes. and videos together. And then I, in college, met Kenny and was like, we both were like, let's go to Charleston for a weekend and film a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we had filmed um, two CMVs prior to this and I'd done a few music videos. So I'd worked with Kenny before and knew how he shot. And that was how it was with the person that shot the um, intern. The intern, I knew they had like filmed some stuff for me before. So I was like, I know how they work. And it's a lot easier, you know, whenever you're also acting in it, you're like, I can trust whoever's behind mm -hmm. the camera to make me look good, make the other people look good, have the lighting look good, is Gucci. Um, so I already knew Kenny. Kenny has a filmmaking background. We've worked films together. We've worked. You guys went to school together. We went to, mm -hmm. school together. to school together. And um, Kenny somehow ended up. Wait, no, this was not the unplanned month. This was the it unplanned was. month. This was the unplanned month. Yeah. I was supposed to come to like visit and like do some cosplay photos for, for a weekend. For a weekend, mm -hmm. and I ended up staying for a month because I got a dog. So in the free time of working like, you know, 16 hour days oh, yeah. and having like a day off. Uh, Nikki and I made a CMB because that's what you do yes. when you have no chill. Um, <laughs> um, we went, I went specifically, you were getting into costume and makeup, you guys were already filming things. I went to Walmart, got like $50 worth of random stuff that you'll see throughout this CMB. And we also went to Goodwill and got some like more stuff. lingerie dresses, I suppose. <laughs> yes. They're like nightgowns, like flowy long nightgowns. And they're all from Goodwill. Every single piece of clothing I think in this is either things that we own for cosplay or it's all Goodwill. <laughs> and um, no, it was after that because I had my surgery. It was after Surprise Kenny's Day. 
Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess it was. It was in the summer. Yeah. yeah, it was in the summer, though. We got pretzels. Oh, yeah. From the underwater stuff. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, there's underwater stuff. We used yeah. a pool in this one. <laughs> there's a whole lot of things going on. Um, this was shot on Kenny's 5D, Canon 5D Mark IV. Mm -hmm. On a 50... Millimeter lens. Yep, 1.2. It's a beautiful lens. It's what I shoot everything yes. on. We had... We, we had some lighting, we had some big soft boxes yeah. that we used. I think this is pre-lighting I don't think we we shot much with the soft boxes though. I think most, most of it was natural, natural light. light. We used some soft boxes in the bathroom because bathrooms oh, typically yeah. have bad lighting. Yes. And it's ugly. And if the light's coming from above, you get like shadows under your eyes here and it's just not pretty. So if you get a soft box and you can just like bounce it off the ceiling and everything's nice and even. And then I think mm -hmm. we used uh, a big reflector and some underwater stuff, so that way the sun wasn't too harsh, but yes. you'll see stuff as we talk about it more at. Uh -huh. And so to preface this CMV, it is a part of an ongoing series that we are currently working on. We literally have filmed more of this today, which we will be showing you the raw footage and discussing more filmmaking things. Mm -hmm. um, it is for Princess I, a very obscure Tokyo pop manga that some of you may or may not have heard of. She pretty much is Courtney Love's alter ego, if anyone knows who that is. Um, and she more or less is just like some angel pop star chick from an alternate dimension that has wound up in our world. And so I had the idea for the CMV of Fruit, which is what we're filming now, and was like, mm, we do not have the time nor the budget to actually film what I'm wanting to do for that. And I also hadn't built these giant red wings. So I was like, let's just tell kind of like the low-key story of the Princess I mangas, which also happened to be in three parts. So it's like part one is what we're about to watch now, which is Teen Idol. And then part two is Blue. And then part three is Fruit, which we are working on. And this one is, it shows like a progression of, you know, um, character and building. And um, you see like the wings grow between each one. And um, if you've read Princess I, you'll get it. Um, if not, you may think it's Gone Girl, so that's what it gets compared to a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I will stop talking and play it for you now. Oh, all of these are to Marina and the Diamond songs. Well, you're just watching one today, but all the series is the same artist consistently. So, you know, we're not suddenly Marina and then like Avril Lavigne or whatever. <laughs> Yay! So that's Teen Idol. Oh. <laughs> my head on that. We have a second part, Blue, but I didn't just want to show you guys 30 minutes of Princess Eye content. <laughs> but I feel like this shows like a good progression. Um, 20 minutes. Pretty cool. Um, I feel like this shows like a good progression of. Everything. Growth. Growth. <laughs> yes. Um, and so we pretty much like talked about like a lot of the stuff that we did beforehand. Um, a lot of it, of that one comes down to, you know, equipment. We just have people that are like very talented that are working with us. Um, and kids. Walmart And props. Walmart props. We use more than one outfit. Yes. Um, that's a thing, yeah. We have multiple outfits for you. We're in multiple different locations. Well, even, you say that, but 99% of it is in, our, in the apartment. Oh yeah. yeah, oh right, yeah. It's just in the yeah, apartment. Different backdrops of the apartment. Different rooms, yeah, it's like a pool, living room, bedroom, apartment, kitchen, and then our, porch. our friend's pool. <laughs> yes. Yeah, all of it was in the apartment until we went to the pool because we don't have an indoor pool. Nope. It's stuff you, in theory, can film in your apartment slash house. Your parents' house. Your parents' house. Our complex. Um, I'm friends with our with, in our old complex, the front desk people, and they saw it and they were like, "Did you film that in our pool? Can we advertise that?" And I was like, "No, that was not filmed in the pool. <laughs> Wouldn't you have seen us? Like, yeah, <laughs> we, we were not about to be in the pool in the middle of our complex, like where people can see you, <laughs> just like in a nightgown, and that's it. And you're just like in the pool with a camera." <laughs> We're not doing anything weird, I promise. <laughs> um, and so this CMB, as I explained earlier, is still going on. Um, we have spent time this San Japan filming. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> get on the ground, do some crunches. Yeah. Just like, yeah. yeah, and then this one we've got this light stick. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was mean. That was so mean. I swear it's not that bright in the daylight. I just wanted to blind everybody. The button's really easy to hit. Um, and the reflector. Uh, and that's what we've been using for this CMP. And then we shot some more. This is just like on the river walk. We're just out somewhere. Here we go. Show them some of the stuff from today. Find some places that we could at least like put ourselves out of the way. Yeah. So that we weren't blocking paths. This was this morning. So we came outside and Kenny, do you want to explain what happened? Yeah, so basically the lens got really foggy because it's humid here. Um, this also happened in the princess, or no, in the Teen Idol video when we got in the shower, my gear got all fogged up. But it looked cool. So I said, let's just roll with it stand here and look in a direction, and I'm just going to move around So even if your camera is something is not happening the way it should be happening, it doesn't mean it doesn't have to make it work for us. It's literally on the sidewalk. Don't move around so much because like, yep. it's black. Students. We were walking to a location, it bogged up, and then I was like, oh no, I'll leave. Stand there. It's I'll a little spooky. Yeah, yeah. Sand's starting to be fog on the side. Yeah. This was also useful because the melon was not foggy by the time we got to the location. Wow. wow. <laughs> so something that could have been very annoying to some, we were like, oh, it's really cool. okay, But you can see it's starting to be fog on the edge. I was like, uh, it's not going to cool anymore. Good luck. Shot today, what would you say, more of like the later shot part is better? Yeah, sure. Do that one. When you're filming on DSLRs, like your like bigger cameras, a lot of them won't let you record after a certain amount of time, so it'll auto stop and break the file up. So, you know, if we're clumsy, it might end up being a different file. Like a wink or blow me a kiss, something like that. You can see that light on her face on one of the sides is me standing off with the reflector, just like. A little flirting with the camera. Yeah. And at this point, Nikki and I have worked together so much that if I say, okay, now flirt with the camera, she knows what that means. It's like a trained animal. You can't hear it because there's a literal waterfall behind her, but we're playing the song so she can have a sitting on these two. And just kind of move around, find some cool angles. This is on a tripod, so it's like nice and smooth and I can stand up and down. Just like holding it and hoping that my arms are strong enough. This is what we were doing an hour before we came here. Yes. <laughs> Sweating in San Antonio yeah. River Walk. This one's the best one. We have a mariachi group playing in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mariachi group. It was so good. That was very pretty. Oh, so their mariachi was so good. Just like Moody Mariachi moving her hands so that way. <laughs> I'm off to the side with a reflector again in this one, trying to not be in the shot. And then look at into the camera. It was a really good mariachi band. Yeah, they're very good. And then it's definitely dancing behind the tripod. Oh, look at the shadow of the camera. Hello, camera. I think I move it at some point, or I move my head at least. But here's the thing, if it's gonna be like two seconds of a shot, as long as you can't see, like if I'm not standing in the middle of the frame, like yeah, people like, don't unless usually you're notice. you're looking for the shape of the camera, most people aren't going to notice. Mm -hmm. So you just gotta think about it in a, in a way that's like, you, you know you filmed it and you know everything that you saw in the frame, but maybe have someone who hasn't seen it and who wasn't there filming look at it, because they can tell you if they, just have them watch and be like, so did you notice anything weird? What did, what, what weird, uh, cool, no, okay. good. Excellent, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> oh, goodness. So now we have about 10 minutes left. We're gonna open the floor up to questions. If you guys want to come to the microphone yes. to ask them, that is how they do it here. First three people ask questions. Surprise, you get these DVDs they gave me when I signed in. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have a question? Do we have a brave soul out in the audience? 
<laughs> yes, we have a brave soul. Hello, brave soul. Hello. Is it? it it's not. Oh, can we turn on the microphone? <laughs> Yay, here it comes. Okay, what is y'all's favorite CMV that you filmed so far? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, um, uh, that green light was pretty fun. Yeah, I, green light was really fun. I really like green light. That's our Yuri on Ice one. We did Odo Yuri. Um, we went out to, to downtown Charleston in South Carolina. We drove two hours to get there. We stayed in an Airbnb for a weekend. And we were just like, mm, let's just shoot a couple of CMVs while we're here. Uh, so we did Odebeck and Yuri. We were walking around downtown the entire night. So it's just like night lights with like stoplights and cool stuff. And at several points, there were just frat, frat boys, boys, drunk <laughs> frat boys running past us while we're like hanging out on its wall, like really gay looking. And they're like, are those dudes or chicks? And I'm like, <laughs> keep going, sir, keep going, please. <laughs> I like the teen idol in blue because I like uh, anytime I get to use new equipment. So I got to get in a pool with the water gear in that one. Yeah. Blue, we got some stuff out of thrift store and spray painted some stuff. Oh, we smashed things. Smashed oh, some yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. That and slow mo, which put something in front of your camera to protect it so you don't break your camera. Please. PSR. Uh, we also spray painted my backdrop on accident, spray painting Whoa. things. And we spray painted this light stick. It's got blue on it still. Beautiful. You just have it. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so What's your favorite, Nikki? I said, I said green light. Oh, okay. But I also really, really do love the Princess Eye series. Yeah. It's like my baby right now. It's like no one knows who this is, but I'm living for it. But it's pretty. <laughs> um, what editing programs do y'all use now? Premiere. Premiere. Premiere, and then occasionally After Effects for something fancy, like if you don't have a white backdrop, that is the entire background. Just throw that person on a white background in After Effects. Yeah. It's basically Premiere with uh, more. Yes. <laughs> Premiere. It's another yeah, Adobe sure. one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, so um, she stole my question. <laughs> oh. Uh, now you gotta think on your feet. Bruh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so um, one thing I was gonna, because I know I just had another one too because I'm. Gonna... <sighs> you got this. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I was. Okay. Okay, I, I believe just, in you. You've I, got I this. had one, and then I just now forgot it again. Oh, <laughs> oh it left you your brain. Let, let friend behind you yes. go when you can think. Okay, okay. Friend. <laughs> Please, because I did have one. Hello. Um, I find myself doing a lot of like impromptu, like uh, CMV towards a slang. A friend goes like, "Hey, can you film me?" I'm just like, "Yeah," and then, like there's like no time to plan, so like we're at like a random location and then like I'm just trying to like sometimes it's like from a show that I've never seen so I'm like mm. trying to pull like blocking or like you know composition shots like out of my head and then sometimes I just like fall short and I don't know like what to do next and then like there's still like more of the song so like what do you guys do whenever you feel like you need um you're kind of out of ideas for like blocking or like you know cool shots to do and then like you still need more stuff that totally happened during the intern on multiple occasions where we're like okay we've made out on things five times <laughs> so we should do something else yeah. so we're like what could they be talking about <laughs> how about they sit here and have a conversation which really isn't like an interesting answer to that per se uh i think with music videos anything where you're cutting a lot you need so much b-roll, oh, just so like much. random stuff that you can cut to because a lot of those things end up coming down so the energy is like how fast you cut the video. Mm -hmm. So typically what I'll do, um, either I'll just start rolling the camera if I'm out of location and just start filming a couple seconds of different things that look nice, different cool lighting. Um, if I'm having someone walk around, if, even if we're just testing stuff, I'll just put camera at weird angles so I'll go get down again. My go-to is always like people speed as they're walking away or like, you know, as they're walking out of an area, if it's a fight, you know, you can get kind of fabric blowing in the wind. And then my always go-to is also, if I'm stuck, I'm just gonna go look up a couple music videos where I know mm. there's a lot of stuff and just see what's there. Cause that's, it's hard trying to come up with stuff just off the top of your head. So I'm usually at the location like, um, um, okay, stand in front of that, no. But here's five seconds of it just in case. Um, that's a ceiling, okay, cool. There you go, just in case. Cause it ends up coming down to like, Oh, I just need five seconds of literally anything here so I don't have to use the same shot of my friend like turning around. 
Uh, so I just start rolling and point the camera at things and change my settings because sometimes having something blown out is just enough to make it look cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, or just having like good like tight B-roll of like, you know, a, a rack focus on like a glass or something. Um, or like, I know you said like sometimes you don't know the shows that things are from. Mm -hmm. Google search, like, like what is the character? Yeah, what are what the best of Tomaki? Um, <laughs> what does this seem to be an occurring theme? What, yeah, yeah. What, what's mushroom? Yeah, ask them to give me like a brief description of the character, what it means to them, like have them describe it. Because, like, if they think that this character is like more powerful or cool, then maybe their wikia page says, and that's probably what we're going to lean towards and what they're going to end up wanting. So, I'm like, yeah. who is this to you? What do you want to look like? let's figure out how to make you do that and then yeah different angles of stuff always helps out yeah and also researching just like you know watching a bunch of music videos or short films or just art films are really cool too like a lot of like um uh luxury designers will have like really cool art film commercials that just look really cool like there's they're really, just random they're yeah, so yeah. random i love watching like gucci and dior like art films they're so random it's mostly yeah, just people like, they're not like about the perfume it's not they're just like it's just uh -huh. like it's, it's, it's like in the, on the gucci team just like oh, oh my yeah. god <laughs> yeah. and just kind of having like things in like your back pocket so it's you yeah. know like also stuff for like your talent to do as well so it's just kind of like oh like you like cool things with your hands and grab or, like, a leaf and dirty the foreground just be like yes. stand there Something in the foreground blurry. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're Come you get your thing. Oh, okay. you want DVDs? this? It's the weirdest one. We read the back of it. <laughs> Good luck. She's an alien. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello. Hi. My one question is in regards to the um, video with Princess I and the uh, book carrying thing. Was that a prop you guys created? That you were tearing apart. Yes, we yes. didn't want to tear apart a real Bible or burn it. We thought that would be a bad idea. <laughs> Some people might get offended yes. by that. Interestingly enough, um, Rachel, when either when Rachel, oh no, it's when it was we were, Yeah, we were at Goodwill, and I found like a book, and it took off the jacket, and it had like a white cover, and so I just took a gold sharpie and freehand wrote the like island bible as a sad middle schooler that really liked god stuff because their parents wouldn't let them be god i studied a lot of calligraphy and you just freehand that stuff mm -hmm. um, i did so. it like right before we started shooting yeah like literally. while i was setting up the camera like <laughs> perfect like, there it is so. bible there we go and it's just like it's a book i didn't care about and it's just like okay we can tear it up rip it up do whatever um yeah, the so literary part of me is like, oh, yeah, oh, it, it, tearing it, it book. felt wrong. And like half the comment section are like, how dare you rip up that book? I was like, oh. I read some pages and it was a bad book anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it deserved to die. It deserved to die. I died for art. <laughs> I was reborn. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, howdy, how are you doing? So cool. Hello, I like your cosplay. <laughs> um, I guess mine's like a two part question. The mm -hmm. first part is, what made you get into Princess High? Because it's like not really that well known, at least as far as I know. I only found out about it because it was years and years ago. I went to something inappropriate in this, <laughs> and he saw the front. And he's like, Courtney Love made a manga, and I didn't know who that was, and I didn't learn who that was till I was making these big chicken wings. And so now I understand. I was like, she's a bit problematic. I understand why people <laughs> like. Um, but yeah, I just like kind of saw it as like marketing worked on me, and I eventually had a father with a wallet and was in a bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the second part is like probably a question everybody gets asked often is how, what made you decide to want to do YouTube like a majority of the time? <clears throat> um, well, I was let go from two of my jobs <laughs> in under a month um, oh. and already had kind of like some, uh, had enough kind of like in place because like the channel is popular enough to where people reach out to you and I have enough. Did you started in middle school or high school? Uh, high school and um, have learned a lot in the past few months. So it was just kind of like a circumstantial thing and it was always just kind of like a side thing. It was like a hobby turned, like the hobby just kind of paid for itself and then some and I didn't think too much on it and it's always just like a thing that I've done on the side for fun and I've thought like, oh, I could turn this into a production company someday, very long down the line. <laughs> and that was just something I was always gonna work towards but life just kind of threw me in. Oh, a curveball, and I was like, "All right, here we go," and it's we're still going, so we're gonna keep doing it. Yeah. 
Um, it's definitely not that scripted. I kind of just have like I like visuals in my head, and so I'm just like, oh, I want this scene to be this way, or this is the overall theme. Princess I is like, the most um, put together one that I have. I have lookbooks, I have music video references, I have a lot of things where I can like show people and be like, I want this, but not these colors, um, or I want this, but not this. Um, the one CMV that I am actually kind of scripting is like a My Hero one, just because it's so complicated and we have so many people involved now, and I'm just like, I'm not gonna get on location and be like, what's Deku stabbing again? <laughs> <laughs> so like literally, I'm just like writing a fan fiction for it to like get it, cause like, you know, I'm a, I, I'm a writer, so I'm just like writing it that way and then just like beat sheeting it after that. Um, that's one of the rare instances. Most of the time it's like, I have a concept, I have an idea, I have someone that understands my ADD brain. Um, here we go. Uh, we just go ahead and run through the full song. It's like going back to someone else's question of like too, not enough footage. It's just easier to be like, oh, there's definitely like editing blue. There were some parts where like I took bits from different lip syncs that I didn't even think I was going to use or that I didn't even like occur to me that, you know, if someone was like, if you could only sing part of this song, would you? And I'd be like, no, I'm just going to use this part. Um, so just having it for safety is always a good option. You end up with a lot more footage that way, but yeah. like it just gives you an infinite amount of more things to cut to. So if you know specifically you want one part of the song to be, you know, sung in a pool, then you know you can grab just that one. But then while you're there, if you already set up and you have the lights going, like spend the extra minutes if you have them to just grab the rest of it in case you want to go back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I just got that I suddenly remembered a question. Um, how do you protect your like um, your content? Because I had like a really, really bad situation towards like I uploaded like three CMVs and then like this one Russian like streaming site like you know just like kind of ripped it and then like put it on their site and then like it got more views than ours oh, and then like no. their social media for like their like for this like one cosplayer got like m blown up more than like the real one. So like what are like steps you could take to like, you know, mm. avoid that from some people do watermark their videos. Mm -hmm. That's a thing that you could always do, which like kind of sucks. Like a little name in the corner, but yeah, I think with a lot of the stuff online, there's not a lot of laws that protect people for that kind of stuff. Um, and a lot of the times with CMVs, you're using copyrighted music anyway, anyway, so it's kind of a hard thing to argue. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, just like contacting them and being like, hi, either credit me or take it down. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I have that happen all the time. Also, if you have an agent, your agent can Mm -hmm. um, kind of handle and do that for you. But most of the time um, you're at the mercy of other people, I would say, it's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. Especially since like it is copyrighted. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're gonna take these two super fast, super, super fast questions and then we're done. Go ahead. Hi, thanks for the microphone for being so tall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I have two like really stupid questions and I know you're gonna be like, oh, they're not stupid, but they are, just hear me out. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we have, the Princess Eye videos, and those are all Nikki, of course. And uh -huh. are we gonna have anything with just like not just not just Rachel, but like with just me? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not trying to be like, oh, we need to get rid of Nikki now. I'm just being like, oh. I do have some ideas that I want to do for me, and there's some things where like I want to involve Nikki in like a smaller way, like I want to do uh, one for Shigaraki that's mostly just Shigaraki, Ooh. and then there's one for Roy Mustang as well that I want to do. So yes, at some point, I will get to these one day. <laughs> they will be on Rachel's my channel, channel instead. Channel. I know when you on your channel, I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to go into withdrawal because there's not enough Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was your other question? Nikki, how did you go like four years in a relationship with her and not let her see the CL CMB? <laughs> There's a lot of things I haven't seen actually. Every we did a reaction to some of your first videos once, and it was oh, absolutely ridiculous. Oh, the really ridiculous. bad CL oh, videos. Yes. Oh, they're so old. They're so good. I, I spare Nikki from watching most of them in front of her. I've watched, I've watched like almost all of your videos, so I've seen like all of that. And I just imagine like you coming home, Rachel being like, "So I found this thing." You're like, "Oh, well, I gotta go now. Bye." Uh -huh. <laughs> That's basically what happens. Yeah. I was just like, how did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Thank Hi. you. Hello? Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, since we 
we've been talking about Princess I and Courtney Love, I guess it occurred to me <laughs> to ask if you got any inspiration from like Courtney Love's looks and her aesthetic oh, or yeah. not. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. as I was making I like my them. chicken wings, I somehow <laughs> came across a lot of Courtney Love documentaries and was just like, Hold okay, I don't really know who this is, but I know she helped me, Princess I. And I was watching, I was like, this is just her life story in a manga. I see you. Um, so it was very interesting. I had some people be like, oh, like you're going to have Kent in your music videos. That's controversial because Kurt Cobain. I was like, Kurt Cobain and Kurt what? Who? Um, so I, I learned a lot. Um, I do draw from her like as like an inspiration. But, you know, I think Princess I and Courtney are two very different people in the sense of like, one clean is like very much like more like a polished version of the other. Yeah, like I did go back and I like I did a lot of research and she definitely is very inspirational to like the princess I now and I feel like it would be a lot different if I hadn't learned those yeah. things about that individual. That's great. Mm -hmm. And do you plan on making any CMVs with like Hulk? With Hulk? No, and I thought that was oh. funny and I, I like pray that she never ever finds these because I feel like the one like interaction will be like so I didn't use a whole song. <laughs> and she like made like Princess I like official music. And I was like, this isn't very good. <laughs> um, so it's just like, I love Marina. That, that was like the imagery that I had for it. So I think we are now out of time. Past our time, in fact. Yes. Thank you all so Thank much for so coming. Much. If you want to see more CMBs, they're all on Nikki's channel, Nishkali, on YouTube. And, uh, we'll also be yeah. out in the hallway to talk to anyone who has any questions and stuff that we yes. weren't able to get to. If you guys want to like loiter around there, figure out a place to kind of like. Oh.